Hey, what is going on guys, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Draw My Thing. So this is an updated version of it, and it's a lot better than the old outdated plugins, but of course the other ones are outdated. So here I'm bringing you an updated version with a lot of sick features, a lot of awesome features. And yeah, so it's updated, that's the biggest part. And if you don't know what Draw My Thing is, it's basically a game where a drawer is given a word, and I have to draw on the canvas what that word is. So if it's like pizza, they have to try to draw pizza the best that they can for the guessers to guess and whoever guesses it first what the word is they get the most points so it's pretty cool and it has a boss bar at the top and like a countdown and title messages so it's all really set up pretty well and so yeah just download this plugin drop your plugins for it and then restart your server and make sure you have the plugin called vault if you want to give your players money rewards so besides that let's go ahead and get started the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to set the canvas board and by the way you're going to want to create an amazing arena this is pretty boring you know gold walls you can have like a theme, like a jungle theme or a volcano lava kind of theme. That'd be pretty cool, but just be creative with it and don't have it like how I have it. Mine's pretty boring. But besides that, we're going to set our canvas position. So we have to set two corners of the canvas, and the wool is the actual canvas, so make sure you have wool. So we're going to set two corners. The first one's going to be the top left. The second one's going to be the bottom right. So let's go ahead and do this thing, you know? So let's go ahead and what we have to do is we have to actually stand. Our feet have to be in line with the top part of our canvas. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna have to stand here so that my feet and legs are in line with the top part of it. So it's kind of complicated. It's not really like how you normally would set up an arena. But yeah, see my feet, my legs right now are in line with the top layer. That's what we want because we're not trying to include our outline in the canvas because we don't want our players drawing on that part. So just stand there, type slash DMT, set canvas, POS 1. Bam, there we go. So we're going to replace the blocks that we broke. And yeah, so now to the bottom right corner. Like I said, your feet has to be in line with the bottom part now since we're at the bottom. So my feet are now in line with that and we are towards the outside, the bottom right. So there we go, just stand there. Type the exact same command in except change one to two and hit enter. So there we go. Pretty easy. Now what we want to do is we want to set the drawer spawn point. So where the where the drawer spawns at, they can move around wherever, but you know it's important to set them where you want them to start out at. So type slash DMT set builder spawn and hit enter. So there we go. So now we're going to set the location of where the guessers spawn at, which is right here for me. And of course you don't have to have fences. I just kind of I like the preference of having them not being able to interact with the drawer. So yeah, right here is good. Type slash DMT set spawn. There we go. So now we're gonna actually create the arena with slash DMT create, and then I'm gonna call this one test. So bam, there we go. The game called test has been created. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Now what we can do is we can set the minimum and maximum amount of players. So slash DMT set min the arena name, and then the minimum amount of players. I'm gonna set mine to two. And then type the same exact command in for the max, except change min to max. So slash DMT set max, the arena name, and then the numbers. So I'm going to set mine to four. So there we go. We're pretty much done. Now what we want to do is we want to include some signs. So join sign and a leave sign. So there is no lobby. And one important thing is to have this sign on a wall or it won't work. So place your join sign on some wall. First line bracket join DMT close bracket second line type your arena name and then bam there we go now it's changed and we're good so now let's set the leave sign inside of our arena so just set it wherever you want on the wall and the first line just type bracket leave DMT close bracket alright so sweet there we go and now we can just test it so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in and as you guys can see, there's a boss bar and a title message, pretty freaking sick. And we actually didn't need the leave sign because there's a leave kind of button here. And now we're waiting for another player because that minimum is two. So let's go ahead and get another player in here. Bam, so there we go. Now the game will start in a little bit because it says the game is starting. And we're about to start, so it's going to be pretty cool. Alright, so numero uno is the drawer, and I have to guess the four letter word, so that's pretty cool. It actually gives that hint on the boss bar. Alright, so on the drawer side, we have the pencil, you know, the normal black, small kind of thing, and your word is yawn. Dang, that would be a really hard word to draw. I don't really know how I'd do that. Maybe just Z's, like the sleep kind of thing, 
Okay, 30 seconds left, so, you know, it's not time to fool around, but the big pencil, obviously pretty big. I actually have essentials, so that just made me go through the wall. Not cool essentials. I'll probably have to disable that in the config. But yeah, we can choose our color here, and then we can leave. So that's pretty much how the game works. If you like this tutorial, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.